told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until Welcome back to our YouTube channel LT Design 97. Now you've seen some of the videos I've made before, and I'll show you how to create them in my video tutorial today. They are generated from an AI tool, which I will introduce to you today. That is the PAK.art Video Generate tool. This tool allows us to create videos from images, available and create video from prompt. It can be said that this is an AI video creation platform. Allows users to create great videos. Today, we will go into the main part, how to create videos from given images through Pika Art. Please accompany me until the end of the video. First you will visit the PIK.art website. Then we will enter Tripica. Or you click here. Here Pika allows we can create an account. With Google and Discord, I would choose to create an account with Google. As you can see, this is the interface of Pika Art. When we create an account, Pika will give us a credit space, used to generate videos. Each time we create a video it will cost 10 credits. As you can see, there are sample videos here that allow you to refer to the prompt and reuse it. We can edit the prompt again or we can copy the seed ID to assign it to a new video that references the reference video style seed ID. Here manage the video files you created, they are stored here. We will get into the important part of today's tutorial. That's how to convert photos to animated videos. Please join me in this. First. You will notice that there is an image or video option here. I will click here and find the image that needs to be converted to video format. As you can see here I have prepared the images in advance, and I will select this image. You will notice that there is a new feature updated by Pika, which is creating sound in sync with the video. I don't need to use this feature for now. And then we will enter a description prompt for the video you want to create. For example, here I will enter a prompt, hair moves and flutters. Next I will set some parameters for the components. For example, in the camera control section, I will adjust the animation to the left. I will go to Parameters to adjust the parameters. Here allows us to enter unwanted descriptions that will appear in the created video.
Here I will leave the section blank, followed by seed ID. We can fill in a seed ID copied from a sample video that you find a suitable style. To shape the newly created video to have the same style as the seed ID sample video. For example, we will operate as follows. The seed ID reuse waterfall is quite simple, and here I will leave this part blank. In the consistency with the text section, I will adjust the parameters to the following level. After setting the parameters, I will click on this icon to create a new video. As you can see here is the video generation interface. Then we will wait to see the results. So after a while of waiting, we got the results. Great guys, I didn't think the results would be this great. Next I will work with some other images to be able to evaluate whether this foundation is really good. After a while, I tried with some images to test the function of creating videos from images of the PIKA.art platform. The results I received were excellent.
So I have shown you how to use the PIKA.art platform to create videos from given images combined with prompt descriptions. It would be great if we knew how to apply this platform for creating music videos or short films. And you can start the project to increase personal income right now. If you have any questions that need answering, please leave a comment below the video. Thank you for accompanying me throughout this video. Please give me a like and subscribe to the channel to update the latest videos. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.